Hi, welcome back. I hope everybody had a nice break away from school. Uh, we're glad to have everybody back in the building and final exams are right around the corner. They start on Wednesday the 18th and go through the 20th. So check our schedule on the website because students are released early each day. And that gives our students time to study for their exams, get help if they need it. It's really important for students to get a good night's rest, eat a good breakfast, um, and take time studying way before the exams begin. So don't wait until the 17th to start studying, but start studying now. Uh, after that, we start our, first, our second semester, so some of our students will be having some new courses, and that's always an exciting time for our teachers and our students. I'm in our counseling office because right after exams, our students are going to start planning for the 2017-18 school year already. So they'll be selecting their classes and some things to consider. We have an academic planning guide on our website that shows the wide variety of courses that we offer. So please consult that with your students. Our students, of course, also will meet with their counselors to talk about options. But this is a great time to explore new options. So maybe trying an elective that they haven't tried before. You don't have to be gifted in the area. Just go out there and try it. Um, and speaking of trying something new, consider coming to the AP Open House. That's on January 12th, and you don't have to have been in an honors class to take an AP course. And that night, you'll learn a little bit more about what different options are and what the requirements are. Another open house that you might want to think about attending is our TCD. So that's our, our, uh, our, our option for students who really want to get some hands-on experience with careers. One thing to know about TCD is, is that you actually are off campus for half of your day. So be sure to have your student talk to the counselor to see what their graduation requirements are and if this would fit into their schedule. There are so many options that we offer here at DGN. Please talk with your child and work through um, the different options and see what's best for him or her. I'd like to share some of our students' accomplishments. First, I'll share that our Cauldron, which is our student yearbook, earned many honors in our state competition. In eight different categories, they were placed on in theme, they were actually first, and in overall, they took third. So we're very proud of our student editors and our faculty advisors. They put a lot of effort into this yearbook, and I know our students and our staff enjoy the fruits of their labor. I'm also pleased to announce that our musicians did very well. You might have remembered that in one of my previous videos, I announced that we had many students who went to the Illinois Music Education Association competition. Well, 16 of them were named all state in either band, choir, orchestra, or composition contest. So we are very pleased. They will perform later on this month with other best in the Illinois. So it's a great event. And I have to tell you that these students obviously put in a lot of hours to be recognized. It's rare for a school to have more than two or three students recognized and we had 16. So it just says a lot about our students and our staff in our fine arts department. So January is also a great time to see some of our students perform. We have a couple things coming up in January. We have our Jazz Cafe, and we also have our Orcasis, who puts on their uh, once a year production. So hopefully you can make it to one or both of those performances. One of my favorite events of the year is our Pizza Wars. So that is a north-south uh, venture. It's a District 99 foundation uh, time to get together and celebrate and eat some pizza and you buy some pizza and you actually help our students because the money goes to our projects for teachers to use later. And then finally, I'd like to mention our Parents Club. We meet on January 11th, and it's a nice opportunity for me to hear from you. So these videos are great because I get to share with you the information that's happening in January. We also need to hear what are parents interested in hearing about and what are some things that are working really well or questions you have. So I invite you to come join me in the alumni room on January 11th. I hope January is a great month for you, and I look forward to seeing you at Parents Club. Thank you.